So I sent an email out to the people who support Be Queer Make Stuff on Patreon and said, what of this incredibly long list of future projects that I have do you want to see next? And delightfully, the overwhelming leader in the poll was me drawing out some of my plans and talking about why I want to make them and what my plan is. So good news, y'all. I love drawing and I love talking. So this was a meant to be. So I have a whole idea for my next outfit. I want it to be Regency inspired. And I find that era of menswear to be really appealing. I don't really love the women's wear, quote unquote, on my body personally, but since my whole shtick is that I play around with gender, uh, who cares? <laughs> um, most of this outfit will be traditionally menswear, um, with most of the changes that I make to the pattern simply being to fit my own body and to modernize the fit a little bit. I already have an 18th century style rectangular construction shirt, but it is in this kind of lovely blue and yellow check stripe thing fabric. Um, and I think for this particular outfit, I really do need a basic one. So I have this really, really beautiful linen in this sort of like ivory off yellow color. And I think it should do the job great. So the next part of the outfit is actually the waistcoat. And this I'm pretty excited about. I have made one waistcoat before, but it was kind of a very simple linen summer weight one. And I entirely self-drafted the pattern, and I think this time I want to have it be a little bit more complicated and to kind of do the full waistcoat experience. So this is the silk that I picked up for my latest shopping trip in Chicago at Vogue Fabrics. It was listed as an upholstery weight fabric, but I don't see any reason it shouldn't rock the heck out of a waistcoat. I don't know. But I want to do this one right. Capital R, right. <laughs> so AKA out of silk, lined, and with welt pockets. Maybe, maybe, maybe three welt pockets, maybe two, and then also a tiny little pocket watch pocket. I don't know. We'll see how excited I feel <laughs> when it actually comes to making welt pockets. So I'm, I'm honestly pretty excited about this one. I think the fabric is going to make a heckin' stunning waistcoat, and I'm really excited to prance around in it. of self-made trousers that I've done and videos for most of them, but none of them have touched on the dreaded question mark, lauded question mark, fall front. I've got this yellow wool from Vogue Fabrics as well, and I very, very, very much want to make the traditional yellow fall front breeches that you see in so many fashion plates and like in all of the period dramas. I just want some fall front breeches. I'm considering over dyeing this to make it a brighter yellow, um, but I'm kind of torn on the issue, so let me know your thoughts on it. I've never made fall front trousers or breeches before, and their construction totally seems like this baffling origami thing, so I'm definitely going to be picking up a pattern to make these, and I'm thinking about doing black snail patterns, but I haven't picked for sure.
And finally, the coat. So this coat pattern is actually one I've had for a long time. This was actually the first pattern I bought when I started seriously getting into sewing a few years ago. And I actually made a mock-up of it and everything right when I got it. It was a little bit outside of my skill range, and I think I'm finally ready to tackle this one. And I'm pretty excited to have gotten to the point where my original plan <laughs> might finally come to fruition. So I already have some horsehair canvas and this gorgeous dark green wool, although it's, it is a little bit greener in real life than it's coming out on the camera. And I'm pretty excited to make this thing come to life. Like I said, it was my initial plan for when I started to sew, and the pattern is really amazing. I don't have any of the notions I need for any of these yet, especially the coat, so I need to acquire a lot of buttons. I could do fabric covered buttons for the coat and for the waistcoat, frankly, but I don't know, I really want to find some really cool ones. I feel like there's going to be a bunch of cool buttons out there. And if I'm already making this as like ridiculous as it is, I might as well just like go for it. So that's my plan. Um, first up, I will be doing the basics, which is the rectangular shirt, and then the waistcoat and breeches, and then finally the coat. So basically, I'll be making them in the order presented. I don't know, what can I say? I'm honestly really excited to make these. They're in like the zone of what I've done before, but these are going to be, I think, a higher skill level and a higher level of finish. And I'm really excited to dive in and kind of like make that happen. I really want these to be like really nice quality items. And I think I'm finally at the point in my, my sewing experience where I'm ready to make that happen. So a huge thanks to you for watching. Um, I'm not sure at the, at the point of posting this, but I am like right at about a thousand subscribers and it would be amazing to hit that if I haven't already. That is a number that boggles my freaking mind. Um, and a huge thanks also to everyone who is a Patreon of Be Queer Make Stuff. It makes this whole process a lot easier and much more possible. If you're interested in joining and getting access to our fabulous Discord server where there's a wonderful community, as well as voting on things like polls, which made this video happen, then go to patreon.com slash stuff. Until next time, I hope you're having a great time out there and I hope you are being queer and making stuff. <laughs> Alright, bye bye.